Um, okay. I have um, one un unfortunate uh, situation, you know. I was prepared uh, my demo rig with the uh, VR experiment here to show you uh, everything, what, uh, everything uh, on what we are working in virtual reality. And you know the rule in life, if, uh, if there is a slightly chance to, uh, to, to something, if, if it can something go wrong, and then go wrong. And that's the, my uh, unfortunate uh, <laughs> situation now. We don't have a demo rig here, but I will try to explain uh, you know, the equipment uh, which we are using to uh, make a virtual uh, measure, measurement system. OK, let's try to start. And I, I, I hope I will explain everything what I want to show you. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Next slide. Okay. Uh, you know, we are living in a time when the uh, term virtual reality is hyperinflated. You know, everything is virtual reality, everything is virtual. Just let me give me a few seconds or a few moments just to, you know, to set a few basic terms, a few basic building blocks to explain what is uh, virtual reality. You know, you can explain, you can define virtual reality as the way people can visualize, manipulate, and interact with extremely complex data. This is my favorite. Okay. But you can uh, talk about virtual reality as the computer-generated simulation of a three-dimensional image or environment that can be interacted with in a seemingly real or physical way by a person using you know, special electronic equipment you'll see later, such as the helmet with a screen inside or gloves fitted with sensors. Okay, as, uh, as a main part of virtual reality environment or, or just virtual reality is uh, simulation. Uh, let's define simulation. Uh, computer simulation, or shortly SIM, is an attempt uh, to model a real life or hypothetical situation on computer so that it can be studied to see how the system works. That's the short one, okay. By changing variables in the simulation, you know, you can make predictions uh, about, the behavior, about the behavior of the system. It is a tool uh, to exactly virtu virtually investigate uh, the behavior of the system under study. And this is the, you know, one of the important building blocks in the virtual reality. Uh, what benefits have uh, kinesiology of virtual reality? You know, when, when, when you connect kinesiology and virtual reality, w what is the result? You know, for the start, it provides a simulated experience very similar to the real experience, okay? And leads to significant savings in training programs and contributes to accelerated acquisition of skills. The second type of uh, what, what that, uh, you know, connection provide is a data collection with the help of flexible visual sensory technology with the aim of, uh, uh, with the aim of later analysis and manipulation of, of artificially computer-generated stimuli stimulations. Okay, what is the, the, the another uh, ben beneficence? Ecological validity, the ability to record and measure the nature of behavior with the simulated functions Functional environment, okay. Describing and analyzing complex elements of human locomotion or targeted creation of a new concept of artificially general, uh, generated stimuli. Uh, I was maybe too fast uh, at the start and I, I didn't uh, tell you what I'm doing in real life at, at uh, Faculty of Kinesiology. I am uh, mainly work on, <coughs> on statistical methodology and analyzing data. But the second important part of my job is the construction and validation of a measurement instrument, which is you know, the, the, one of the main parts in kinesiology, what we are doing. And th when, when you combine these two things, you, know, you will see what, what we can make in virtual reality. Okay, what is the uh, goal of our project? Uh, what I will explain to you, uh, uh, our goal is uh, measuring head motion speed in the real and virtual environments and comparing the results. 
we want to see is there is the same movement in real life, in reality, is the same movement in virtual reality. That's the, our you know, primary goal. The project for that uh, project was divided in uh, two sub-projects, real, real environment you know, part and the virtual environment part. Same uh, movement pattern was measured in both environments. You will see you know, in a few seconds later. Measuring head motion speed in a real environment you know, was accomplished by you know, the small computer processing uh, you know, um, computer. Raspberry Pi, which was conducted to five infrared sensors that could reg register a movement between 10 and 80 uh, centimeters of distance. Let's see how it looked like. This is, a, you know, this is the, one of the early phases of the construction. You can see here Raspberry Pi, all the connections with the five sensors. <clears throat> At the end of construction, that uh, real equipment finally was looked like, like this. You can see, you know, you know, the five spaces with sensors inside, in the middle of, of, of that boxes without ceilings, okay? And uh, uh, the task was, um, uh, the task, or subject task was to make, you know, inside out movement inside of this box and trigger all these five sensors. And you know when you uh, when you summarize all this uh, time, you know you you can measure the speed of movement, you know between boxes, between sensors, and the first and last sensors. Okay, you will see on this one, this small video, how this look like. Oh, just uh, just uh, back. Oh, let me see. I need a video here, just to click here. Ah. Can we, no? Ah. Back one, and here, here is the video. No? Ah. We don't have a video here. Ah. We'll see. But if we, we don't see the video, you know, in, in the video you can see, you know, just the right movement of subjects in task. Let's see what we can. No, okay. If 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 we can, we, we, if we cannot start the video, I will try to. You know, explain what's happening here. You know, that person, that subject, you know, will put in the window, you know, hands in all five boxes, and the results will be shown here. Okay. Uh, the virtual part of this uh, uh, experiment, the virtual environment, okay, was programmed in Unity framework. Maybe you are, you know, familiar with that kind of software. It's a, you know, framework where, where you can, um, uh, you know, create a virtual environment. And uh, hardware used in uh, that part of experiment was uh, Valve Knuckles. It's a special, you know, wand uh, which can, uh, which can be freely, you know, uh, attached on the hand and move around. And uh, AT, a, HTC, you know, hand-mounted display from Vive. These are the not is not high-end, you know, HMD helmet, but is a you know middle uh, upper end of that kind of equi equipment. These knuckles, this uh, wand, is a, <coughs> a very interesting one. You know, uh, it can measure position of the hand uh, and uh, position of the fingers. And uh, you can wear it, uh, you know, without, you know, uh, holding, holding it. You, you can strap it around the hand. Uh, virtual environment was developed uh, with the pattern matching uh, the one in the real environment. That's the main, you know, main focus. The same situation, the same uh, measurement, the same dimensions, but in virtual environment. You will see a few seconds later. 
between each virtual sensor in virtual environment was placed a virtual barrier, you know, imitating the shape of the square that served a virtual obstacle, visually reminding the subject of the measurement uh, of the measurement and not to take one continuous movement, forcing him to place his hand over each sensor in particular. If the subject touched the barrier, he feels a slight vibration and that signals him, you know, that the position of your uh, hand is not uh, right. Okay, this is a, that framework, a Unity framework, and here you can see what subjects see through virtual, you know, helmet. You, you see five boxes, you know, uh, you see the, uh, you know, the timers above, and uh, timers, you know, uh, start, of course, uh, with zeros. And when you start, when you trigger a first sensor, here is a virtual sensor, okay, position of the virtual sensor, you, can, you cannot see it. These black things in this phase was exactly, you know, the place of collision. When, uh, you know, subject put hand on that place, you know, the trigger was stopped. And, you know, you, uh, the subject have to make, you know, five continuous inside, outside, you know, movement to stop all five triggers. The results, this is the video, maybe we can start one, try to, stress, well, I'll try, this is another window. Oh, no, it's not. Hmm. Okay. In this video, <laughs> we don't see it, but, uh, you know, subject, you know, the, um, uh, uh, you know, um, it, it subject is involved in measurement of uh, movement speed, hand movement speed in virtual environment. In the final phase of the project, the, vi the real and virtual environments were uh, superposed, you know. Same position, you know, same orientation, same dimensions, all, all that, uh, you know, th that markers are on the same place in virtual, in real, in real uh, environment. The virtual room was calibrated in such a manner to co coincide the position of the VR developed sensors and the infrared sensor in the real environment. The measurement was carried out simultaneously in that case, giving the results for the exact same movement. Um, if you look at the data, uh, just in a basic level, right, the descriptive statistics, you can see, you know, the, some, some findings, interesting findings, of course. Uh, here is the uh, Kronbach reliability coefficient, you know, for the uh, VR uh, measurement equipment, and you see the, you know, the probabil uh, reliability was uh, uh, 0.68. Kronbach reliability coefficients for real instruments was uh, high, higher 0.93, you know. It's much, you know, higher uh, reliability uh, in real environment. We expected that, but we didn't expect that the differences between these two, you know, coefficients of reliability. Hmm? Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, hear you. What, does, what do you compute when you compute Kronbach? Kronbach alpha is uh, coefficients of reliability, you know, of measurement instrument. You know, that's the part of um, uh, error, error inside uh, um, uh, result. You know, uh, reliability item analysis. Uh, no. No, you are not familiar with that. Okay, reliability is a process of um, validating measuring inf instrument, and uh, you can uh, you can um, um, uh, you can measure you can you can uh, analyze uh, reliability in three different ways. One of these coefficients of reliability is Kronbach's reliability coefficient, and um, that coefficient uh, starts from zero to one. If you have one Kronbach coefficient of reliability, then your measurement instrument is measuring without errors. Okay, lower, lower number. You have a, a unsystematic, you know, um, error inside larger part of, uh, you know, unsystematic error in your results of measurement. I understand the Kronbach concept, but what is the variable that you compute here? Aha, uh, time. 
time, 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 time of measurement, you know, when you start and end with that task of uh, moving hand inside out the boxes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, repeated measurements, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't quite understand what you mean. You know, let's let's move back just a, just a few few slides. What? Just okay. Here, virtual environment doesn't matter. You know, you, when you start measure the the subject, put hands inside first box, second, third, fourth, fifth, and you have a time of between you know start and end, and this is one results for one subject. And you have repeated measures three or four times. We have a five times here at that level of, uh, of, of investigation or study. OK, let's see this one. It's a descriptive part, very basic one. You know, uh, oh, just to remind you, this is the short name for these two instruments. This is a, a virtual, uh, virtual instrument, and this is a real instrument. This is the arithmetic you know, means, OK, minimum and maximum of the time. Uh, you know, uh, standard deviation, skewness, and kurtosis. Just, just, just to look at the, that basic numbers, you can see the big difference between the time, you know, of subjects' uh, speed in uh, a virtual environment and real environment. Okay, you can see the big uh, difference in, uh, uh, you know, that standard deviations uh, between uh, virtual environment and real environment. Okay. Because same same movement, you know, same dimensions, you know, without uh, you know any leg legging, you know, and and, and, and oh, you know in a movement in virtual environment, but we have a very very different results. When you try to correlate these uh, results of the same subjects in virtual in, in, uh, virtual and real environment, you can see there is a there is no big. Uh, correlations, point uh, three one, you know the you know the the shared variance of these two proportion of shared variance of these two uh, instruments are very small. Why? Well, what? What's the reason? Indeed, we 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 make some other, another analysis like factor analysis uh, when when we try to determine the factors uh, in the field of motoric dimensions and put all these instruments uh, and correlate them with the uh, motoric dimensions uh, of classical uh, you know movement speed uh, movement speed uh, instruments what uh, kinesiology usually use and because of all that well, let's try this one maybe i make some Wrong move. Uh, some conclusions uh, from from this part of data uh, you can see on this slide. You know, um, if you attempt to, attempt to transfer an identical motor manifestation from a real to virtual environment, is not entirely possible by simply simulating uh, an identical uh, simula simulation situation. I'm sorry, that's the one conclusion. The subject's response to an artificial, artificially generated stimulus is a qualitatively and quantitatively different from the one in the real environment. That's what our data shows. The motoric and cognitive response to an almost identical set of problems resulted in involvement of different information processing processes. That's a speculation, okay? That's not our conclusion, but it's our speculation. And near the end, okay, I, I won't conclude anything concretely, concretely, but I will ask some questions, you know. How real is simulated reality? On, on this example, we see that the same simple movement is not the, on the, is not the same, is not processed on the same way in the virt virtual, and, uh, virtual and real reality. How we exactly interact with simulated reality? You know, on the, is, is connected with the uh, previous questions. On the same way, or we use some different centers in the brain. Uh, to what extent is the uh, knowledgeable acquired in virtual environments transferred from the virtual to real world, and vice versa? 
our equipment, um, our, you know, um, you know, uh, the quality of equipment, equipment can determine that answers. But maybe Professor uh, Marosic equipment connected with this type of experiment can determine what's really happening in the brain when you, you know, um, w w when you do the same movement in virtual uh, or in, uh, and real reality. Okay. Okay. This is my last uh, last slide. Um, as I said at the start, unfortunately, it's not. Uh, it's not a good day for our equipment, and we cannot show you what's really uh, happening. I was really, um, you know, I was really sad because of that. But we think that this type of in, 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 um, instruments, you know, really can help to understand how we, you know, how we move or how we think in virtual environment. What is, what is our intention? And if we determine that goal, maybe we can really, you know, um, you know, uh, acquire, acquire a goal like, um, you know, construction, real measurement instrument in virtual reality, and measure things and situations which can be which can be measured in real environment. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for the presentation. I uh, just a second. Do you please, um, if you have any questions, and if I, if I can answer, we do please. have. Sure. Just for those who are online, they can hear us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It will be better if I had a, a you know real equipment here. <laughs> For me, I understand you're, you're measuring reliability. You're, you're talking about system accuracy. You're talking about system See, technology accuracy. Yes. But you use an individual motor behavior that varies over time, time on task. Okay. And then you try to compare two systems, a real world and a virtual system. Okay. But you do independent Cronbach tests without comparing the systems. You're not testing statistically for similarity. You're testing for reliability, not using the technical spec. Hmm, I'm not sure if I really understand. So if you really want to say these systems are different or comparable, so either you test for some parity, like cool on level distance or some okay. parity between the two. We, we did, we did, this, this, these findings are not here. I just want to say that the reliability, just reliability, just unsystematic error in these two um, uh, you know, measurement instruments are very different. Uh, the real instruments are, are, have uh, higher reliability in process of measurement. But, but then you're not talking about the technical No, 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 not, in, no, no, not, not the technical specifications. That just, you know, I, I analyzed just, uh, you know, Kronbach Alpha reliability was the point of variation in the, uh, you know, in the sample results. But that would I understand you're simply looking at the error of the behavior over time within one system. Yeah, okay, okay, yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And, and then, and then we. Uh, system, you have a knuckle controller. Do you have the same knuckle controller? Same, 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 same. Always the same. Always the same. same situation, same dimensions, uh, you know. Same. Yeah, you, you, when you look at the uh, virtual environment, it's almost the same, you know, situations. You cannot say that this is the same situation. Okay. No, yeah. no, sorry. I, I, really, I, I really really enjoy uh, talking about this with you in, in the coffee break because I think I think um, I think um, I have an answer for you, but on a, a different level. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, are there any other questions from the audience? Who was like the VR user until now? Have you tried it so far? Yeah. I know there. Did you some... ever try to construct measurement measurement instrument in virtual environment? Maybe that's that's a good question. Did you, did you try? Yeah, they do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, you also? You tried it? Was your explanation why it's from Alpha in the yeah, yeah, but it's 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 a low, same moments, uh, almost the same. Yeah. 
I, I can just, this moment I can just speculate, speculate what, what's, what's happening. You know, it's, it's slightly different, what I think, it's slightly different coordinating system which uh, have to be established by the brain, perception systems and stuff like that. You know, every subject at the beginning try to, you know, understand what's happening. It's the same situation, it's the same movement, it's the same, uh, uh, you know, um, how you call it, distance of movement. But, you know, they are just a little bit slower than in real, in real life, in, in the real situation. Five times uh, time because this is a pilot. It will be more, then they will have time to adapt it. So it yeah, but you know you must be careful with that because uh, the you know the um, object of measurement if change in time because of I don't know uh, energy uh, you know losing energy in, in that yeah, uh, the, the, the the difference and the reliability will be lower. Yeah, in a, in a time in timeline, you know, if you separate it in a time, okay, that, that it, it, can, it can be possible. Yeah, yeah. just 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 do it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just to around the detail. Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have kinematics. No, no, I don't have kinematics. No, sorry. In this phase, we just measured, you know, the time between okay. the time of movement between real and virtual environment. That's the, that's the you know, tiny focus. But you have, I mean, to get to the difference, so I don't understand. I, I totally yeah. think there is some transfer loss between, um, between real world and VR. Um, and that might be multi Yes, yes, it, probably so it is. So if you, if you look at the kinematics, then that might be first. Uh, of course, yes. Yeah, so we, we are looking forward to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a normal second step in our in our research. You yeah. should do EG. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I, I, I will talk with. Uh, That's why he's here, Professor right? Professor <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Okay. Uh, thank you so much yeah, for the presentation. You. Thank you. Much. Uh, thank you.